Plate's history in the manufacturing business began with Geiger counters and scintillators. And here's some of White's uh, more famous and more popular Geiger counters and scintillators. Now, Geiger counters were used to prospect for uranium. They were used a lot like a metal detector, only there was not a necessity for a search coil. Uh, so your sensing of the radiation would come through these vents and you'd pretty much just walk around like this and show samples and, and uh, use it very similar to a metal detector. So that's a Geiger counter used for prospecting for uranium. And that was a big boon for White's beginning in the manufacturing business and then selling Geiger counters. Now a scintillator is different than a Geiger counter. This is a scintillator here. A scintillator is used to find oil and water deposits. Now you could drive down the road in a car or a truck or a Jeep or you could fly over in a small aircraft and use the scintillator to locate oil or water deposits. And that was huge for White's electronics in the early days. When I first started working for White's in the 1970s, uh, Ken White Sr. asked me to run a series of tests on, his, on one of these Geiger counters that he's built. Uh, this is a modern uh, Geiger counter from another manufacturer. This is the one that White's uh, was, used to build here. Uh, my test keep, kept not coming out like it was supposed to, and I could not figure out for the life of me why I was not getting good readings or good data from my test. As it turned out, <laughs> They don't make them like they used to. This chrome bumper was putting out more radiation than you could imagine. The White's detector would detect this chrome bumper from about 20 feet away, uh, whereas the modern one would not detect it at all. Uh, so that's how much more sensitive the White's Geiger counters were. And of course, that's why they were in such high demand.